Woods, I want to bring in my colleague now, Tony Aiello, who was just in the courtroom, and you got some new information moments ago. Andrew, this comes from the arrest warrant application, and it really spells out the intense behind the scenes investigation that's been going on. Mm -hmm. So, as you reported, these two people are charged with tampering with evidence and obstruction of justice. We now know more about what they allegedly did. Uh, police say that they tracked uh, Fotis Dulos's cell phone, and based on the travels of his cell phone, they recovered surveillance video. The surveillance video allegedly shows him leaving various items around Hartford, Connecticut in uh, uh, trash uh, containers. Those items were recovered by the police. They've tested positive for the missing woman's blood. Mm -hmm. So they're saying he tampered with evidence by disposing of it in Hartford. They managed to recover it through some stunning police work, and that that evidence contains blood from the missing woman. They're also accused of um, obfuscating the lettering on a license plate and dumping that, perhaps so that they wouldn't be tracked as they drove around. And according to the arrest warrant, uh, Michelle Traconis was was with Fotis Doulis as they dropped these th things off in the immediate aftermath of Jennifer going missing. And of course, we know that the search for her body continues. They're uh, searching in Waveney Park in New Canaan, Connecticut, once yes. more as we speak. All right.